hi guys so recently i have cracked standard chartered bank so let me tell you in depth like what all interview questions has been asked what all rounds have been there and every sort of thing which is required for you to clear all banking domain companies so companies like douche bank standard chartered bank natwest and uh, jp morgan morgan stanley so these all ask more or less similar kind of questions so you will be getting structurally similar type some scenario based problem and they will dig deep into them so these are the basic patterns which these type of interviewers generally follow so let me show you step by step in each round so in total there were five rounds including hr rounds so without any delay let's get started so first of all we will be starting with round one so in round one basically it was just a walk-in kind of interview so i got a referral okay i got a referral referral from one of my friend and i got uh, the hr number and with that hr i had a contact and then there was a walk-in interview where i went into the company and there was a walk-in interview like there were uh, 40 to 50 people who were interviewing at that point of time and then uh, they were calling them one by one okay so at the same time i also went to the interview room and that started with the interview okay so the first question i have started with very simple like uh, if i am taking two strings s1 s2 s1 is hello then s2 is also hello s1 equal to hello s2 equal to hello then what will be the output of s1 dot equals s2 and s1 equal to s2 so it was just a simple thing and then they have just tweaked it like if s1 equal to new string hello and then s2 equal to hello then what will be the result for the same so these were the questions so i hope you got the clarity this was the first question second question was they were asking some more pointers on immutability concept basically so they were asking like what is an immutability why strings are immutable in nature and uh, there are certain fields like date field, map field. So, are these mutable or immutable? So, if they are mutable, can you make it immutable? What's the difference between deep cloning and shallow cloning? So, they will go deep into it and they will try to take out from you like in depth how much knowledge you are having okay so these are type of questions that has been asked then another type of question was like in hibernet we are doing mapping right one to one to menu to one mapping so we are doing so in that scenario if i am doing fetch operation i want to tell you one scenario so there will be one parent okay and there will be child relationship so let's suppose there is a department has list of employees so there is department and employee relationship so let's suppose i am i want to save department okay so employees also should get saved this is one of the scenario and another scenario is if i'm fetching the uh, department details sorry if i'm fetching department details then all employee details should also get fetched okay it should get fetched lazily upon our request only okay so the question was what is the default fetch type in hibernate if you are making use of any kind of mapping okay so this was the question so by default it is eager type fetch type will be always eager by default okay but if i am writing it specifically over the dependent entity reference like whatever and for example if you are using list of employee and then you are adding that mapping entity and then if you are writing fetch equal to fetch type dot lazy if you are adding that in one to many mapping in that scenario it will fetch the data but it will be fetched lazily only when you are calling department and it is being fetched at that point of time only the employee details will be fetched otherwise it will not be fetched so this was the question that has been asked to me so what will the default fetch type in hibernate for all entity type mappings okay and then another type of question was on isolation levels okay so the questions were on the dirty read problems phantom read problems what all prob uh, what all problems are there then how those problems are being resolved okay then what all default isolation what is the default isolation levels what are the types of isolation levels okay like read committed read uncommitted then serializable so these are the isolation levels what are the advantages so these are some kind of questions that has been asked and then the question was on rollback mechanism as well like how transaction rollback mechanism works in spring boot architecture so the question will not be direct on how rollback mechanism will work questions uh, can be on like there is a scenario where there is a department and there is employee and i want to delete some employee id Okay. there is a department table and within that there are certain employee ids for each department so if i have deleted some employee ids if i have deleted some employee ids 
then I thought later like I have deleted it by default and I need to roll back. I felt like the department also got deleted. Okay, so I need to roll back everything. So basically, if I am doing the rollback for employee, then depart that department ID should also get rolled back along with the employee. So how will that be achieved? So these type of questions that has also been asked to me. So you have to add at the rate rollback for equal to exception dot class, and then you have to write at the rate transaction over there. At the rate transaction within that, you have to write rollback for equal to exception dot class, and then you can provide your own isolation levels depending upon your requirements. So these are the steps that we have to make it a transactional. Like if the dependent dependent entities are being saved, then the parent entity should also get saved. If you want to create that type of relationship, then you have to make the class as transactional. Okay, but make sure that whatever methods are being called, that has been called to a different class from that same. Okay, so if from the same class you are writing multiple methods, so you should not call the methods from the existing method in the same class okay try to call a different method which is present in a different class then only this uh, rollback mechanism will work so you can try it out so these are the things that we have to be aware of it okay so this was the questions on rollback mechanism like how you are doing the rollback then um, how you will implement isolation levels okay propagation levels and uh, yeah so this was it and there was one uh, coding question also that has been asked to implement then and there itself like the question was on two sum problem so to, it was not directly we have to print the two numbers the question was to print the indexes okay so wherever you find those two numbers whose sum is equal to the target i want to know the indexes of those numbers okay i don't want those numbers i want the indexes of those numbers Okay, so you can make use of hash map. You can do, but it has to be solved in O one space complexity, O of n time complexity, and O of one space complexity. So you should not make use of any list or list of list. So that way you have to implement. Like what kind of algorithms you can use. Okay, so this is a thing. Yeah, so you can do it by your own. If you are facing any kind of doubts or you need clarity, you can ping in the comment box. Like what is the mechanism to implement in O of one space complexity? I will. Answer you there, but I want you to think it by your own, like how it needs to be implemented because they will not give you straightforward question. They will just tweak it a bit. But if your concepts are clear and concise, you will be able to answer them in interviews. Okay, so this was questions asked in round one. Okay, then round two. So round one was uh, basically focused more towards Java, Hibernate, Spring Boot, these all things. Then second round was focused mostly upon the system design part. So basically, they will tell you like I am I want to design a system. Okay, so that system is having initially less number of people. There are very less traffic. Okay, few thousands of traffic are there. Then how will you design that kind of system where the traffic is very less? Then the question was again inserted in between. Like after if you tell like how you have implemented, then they will ask you a different sort of question like. If I want to scale it to a million users, then what all modifications you will do in the existing system? So then you have to tell about load balancers. Then you have to tell about centralized logging mechanism. Then you have to tell about configuration server. How you can put the centralized configuration server? How can you implement caching mechanism? Okay. So how will you implement asynchronous communication via Kafka? The streaming things, streaming messaging system. So these all things will come after that. Then vertical partitioning. Sorry, horizontal partitioning. Then sharding mechanism. Okay, which is which is basically horizontal partitioning only. So these all things will come into picture. Okay, so if you are clear with this, so I will highly suggest you to go through system design by Alex Su. System design interview by Alex Su. There are two volumes of it, volume one and volume two. Just go through through that. You will get crystal clear clarity on it, like how to answer system design interviews. Then the questions was on what type of headers are there in Spring in REST API basically, and what all kind of headers you have worked with. Okay, so you can tell about request header, response header, in security also there is header you can make use of. XS HTTP client headers, 
okay so there are various kind of headers you can go through so yeah so these are kind of questions that has been asked and then there are a few questions upon uh, like what what was your salary in the previous organization while you are trying to move to the new organization so these all kind of questions you will expect and then there will be some questions on like how will you lead the team of 10 people okay so the position for me was for 5 plus 6 plus years as a lead so the question was i got it towards that after telling each and everything about the designing of the system and like i uh, will give some scenario like if i will be telling you to implement this project in a specific dedicated timeline then what will be your approach if you have certain set of team members with you how will you go ahead and dedicate them and help this how will you distribute a task among all your team members how will you decide like which type of stories will can be done by what kind of team members how will you complete the story all the stories well before timelines how will you deliver it faster to clients so these kind of questions will be asked so it should be well versed with if you are going as a lead if you are not going as a lead no this type of questions you should not expect but if you are going as a lead so you should be prepared with these kind of questions okay yeah so these were the set of question that has been that has been asked in round 2 okay then these two rounds that had happened during work in when i went to the company actually okay so after these two rounds i got to know that i was selected then round 3 happened after a week okay after a week i got to know that i will be giving round 3 which was hacker rank based question so i will be sharing some screenshots you can see over here in that basically and there was some project okay so they will be giving the dedicated project okay where there will be some test cases which will be failing okay that will not be running so your task will be to identify where is the issue why that test cases are failing so basically they will be calling uh, controller from their services are written so the service will fail it, it will not uh, give you the desired result as a response why because there are certain conditions are not matching uh, some data is not being sent properly or there is some uh, null checks are not available you have not provided with null check but you are passing null as a data this can be like any number of scenario so you have to identify like where is the issue in your spring boot application and you have to resolve that so there were two to three issues first one was within controllers and another one was null check was not there for one entity so this was the thing for hacker rank and uh, there was some mcqs type questions also okay yeah so there was one spring boot based question and there was one sql question there will there was two questions basically so this was it for round 3 then round 4 was basically behavioral assessment test so there was one assessment test and we have to answer them which was basically based upon our behavior and the situation based like if there is some scenario how will you answer this kind of questions in this specific scenarios so, uh, so behavioral type of question it was not a interview kind of thing but an assessment a small assessment test kind of thing how will you react how will you behave in certain kind of scenarios or situations which is going on in your companies like if uh, there is some huge task which has been provided to you how will you react in that scenario uh, how will you work under pressure so this kind of behavior based scenario based questions can be there okay so it's a part of assessment not interview after clearing that then there will be hr round okay so where salary discussion was happening so some negotiations happened so yeah so this was it so entire process took around one month approx to complete it and then finally i got offer from standard chartered so this was it i hope you have liked it and if you liked it please like share and subscribe and share it with your friends who are giving interviews for banks so i hope this will help all of you to crack all banking related interviews so we'll see you in the next set of interviews experiences or different set of topic based questions so till then it's tapji try signing off bye bye